In this video, I will tell you the five topmost things you require to visit Malaysia. Stay tuned. First of all, you need a passport, a valid Indian passport. और ये जो पासपोर्ट है इसमें मिनिमम सिक्स मंथ्स के वैलिडिटी होना चाहिए नेक्स्ट रिक्वायरमेंट यू हैव टू बुक द रिटर्न फ्लाइट टिकट्स इन एडवांस मेनी पीपल ऑल्सो गो टू सिंगापुर फ्रॉम मलेशिया एंड इन दैट केस द फ्लाइट और बस टिकट्स टू सिंगापुर मज बी बुक्ड इन एडवांस एज वेल थर्ड रिक्वायरमेंट यू नीड टू मेक एडवांस होटल बुकिंग्स फॉर wherever you are staying in malaysia and for the number of days you will be staying in malaysia if you wish you can book hotel from booking.com or agoda.com as many hotels can be booked without any card and fully refundable bookings can be done from these portals one more thing in these portals you will also get pay at hotel option using which you can pay only after reaching the hotel It's a nice option. You may try. The fourth and most important requirement is a valid tourist visa. A visa is must to enter Malaysia. Although it is not very difficult to get a Malaysian visa, it is possible to get a tourist visa by just filling some basic requirements and if you want, you can do it yourself by applying online. Actually, uh, there are many types of tourist visas. Applicable for Malaysia. Among them, I am just mentioning a single entry Malaysian visa, which is valid for 30 days. I have already mentioned three of the four things required to apply for a tourist e visa. The number one was a passport with a minimum validity of six months. Actually, it's six months beyond the date of arrival. And one more thing. you need at least one blank page which is required for entry stamp number 2 was return flight ticket number 3 hotel booking vouchers number 4 passport size photo certain instructions for taking this passport size photo are given on the malaysian website you need to follow all these instructions properly else visa may get cancelled the fifth requirement exchange local malaysian currency in advance although most of the places in malaysia accept credit cards but still take some local currency which is ringgit in advance so what i mentioned till now are the basic requirements that are needed to enter in malaysia additionally i want to highlight a few more things here these things will make your malaysia tour completely headache free for less than 200 rupees you can get 7 to 10 days travel insurance for malaysia where you will have coverage up to 1000 dollars for your family for the entire trip next i will talk about mobile connectivity what i did in this case was i activated roaming on my jio sim For rupees eleven hundred, where I got talk time of rupees nine thirty five. I also pre-booked a Malaysian SIM for internet usage, which I collected after landing at the airport. I pre-booked this SIM through a mobile app called Clue. Sharing the information of Malaysia tour is not complete without talking about this Clue app. Before going to Malaysia you must download Clue app and using it you can book tickets for various attractions in Malaysia at a very discounted prices Although I booked tickets for Petronas Tower directly from their official website as it was not available on Clue If visiting Petronas Tower is in your plan then definitely buy tickets for Petronas Towers in advance I hope the information that I have shared with you today will help you to plan your Malaysia tour and you will not face any single problem while touring Malaysia. If you find the information shared in this video helpful, 
I will request you to give a like to this video and subscribe our channel. Thank you. Stay well, stay connected.